another song that come together, well, a song that come together quite quickly, really, um, and one that was really nice to play. Solitary Empires was a song that was, again, written for Ilium. It wasn't um, an old Oracle song. So it was one of the first songs that we attempted to write as a band. Um, it worked quite well, I think. Um, a lot of that was, was my input. Not a particularly long song, but it's epic in nature. It's another really good song to play to. This was kind of cool. Um, again, this, was, this felt like a real album track when we originally did it. And uh, again, nothing wrong with an album track. Um, later on, Adam really controlled the music writing and I went uh, more focused on the lyrics. Uh, but Solitary Empires was probably more based on my ideas and Adam sort of put it together. And lyrically, it was uh, Mark's lyrics. He left a few lines out of his original lyrics and um, got me to fill them in. So that's that's what, how the original lyrics were based. Um, the whole notion around the lyrics for that was just the whole philosophy around building an empire that, you know, through history there's been so many empires, but the whole notion of an empire being built, an empire becoming too big to service itself um, and, to, and to survive as an entity and then it, um, and then it falling apart and disintegrating. It worked quite well originally and uh, the song itself I always really liked. I think it was probably Mark's best vocal performance on the original album. So when we did the new version, the guy said to me, we want it epic. And I said, how epic? And they said, make the intro really bombastic. And anybody that's ever worked with me knows that you don't say that to me because I do that. And um, when you hear it, you'll understand. It, it went from, oh, that's a nice little melody to, holy crap, there's a planet hitting me in the crotch. But again, there was minor changes to this one. I've added a lot of detail to the rhythms to break it up instead of just constant open string playing. There was no keyboards, I don't think, in the original version. Uh, this one's had a fair bit of keyboard synth work added to it to make a big difference. Um, I, I really enjoyed the solo in that song, so we kept that the same too. As close as possible to the original version. When we went to re-record it, uh, Adam did his thing, but what I did was rewrite the lyrics, open the, the lyrics at the end up a bit more, and uh, what that really enabled us to do was to get some really great vocal performances from Tim. Some ridiculously high vocals in this as well. They were a lot of fun to do. Um, I listen back to it and I chuckle now. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't think they were actually so crazy when I was putting them down, but yeah, I, I think I was wearing the tight pants that day. In terms of the artwork, again, we didn't have any artwork for it originally, so Dimitar was uh, given the lyrics. He sort of based based it on sort of a metropolis where each of the buildings was also like a statue or a monument, and they represented the different aspects of um, the different aspects of empire building, which is either going to be political or or um, religious or whatever other nature that these empires come in and uh, that's basically what he's done with the artwork for Solitary Empires. Let's drop it on the sea. 